The Gospel of St. Luke, whose feast we celebrate today, has certain unique themes that make us uh, make it distinct and challenge the readers. Luke's concern for the poor, the lost, the neglected, the suffering and the strangers suggest that he, his is a gospel of the poor. Some call him a historian of the meekness of Christ. The Magnificat or a hymn of social justice sung by Mary, Jesus' birth in a poor manger, the healing of ten lepers, the kindness of the Good Samaritan, the plight of the poor Lazarus, the encounter with Zacchaeus, and the rich tax collector are all unique to Luke. Luke's uh, eyes were open to the hard realities of his time. Are our eyes open to the afflictions and needs of the people around us? Luke's gospel broke open many barriers. So it is called the gospel of universal salvation. A Samaritan stranger becomes neighbor to the wounded man. A Samaritan leper shows gratitude. The shepherd finds his lost sheep. The father welcomes his lost son. Luke's Jesus changed the role of women in the society. The resurrected Jesus first appeared to the women. Mary Magdalene, Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, and Susanna were Jesus' followers. Do we include or exclude people who are different from us? Today's passage from Luke's Gospel speaks of a follower's absolute commitment. The disciples left everything and followed him. They had to renounce father and mother, and even their own lives. They had to carry their own crosses. They had to sell their belongings and give alms. They had to suffer and be rejected. Thus, his gospel is called the gospel of the absolute renunciation. Do we renounce our own interests to meet our commitments to the family? At times, his gospel appears to be a gospel of table fellowship. Meal scenes provide the setting for much of Jesus' ministry. So Luke's Jesus is either going to a meal, at a meal, or coming from a meal. Do we make our family meals a time for building relationship? Finally, Luke's gospel shows he has a special love for Mother Mary. It highlights Mary's steadfast faith, her childlike trust and obedience to God, her readiness to serve others, her gratitude, her acceptance of God's plan, which, he, which she doesn't understand, and her prayerfulness. She ponders the ways of God and keeps his truth close to her heart. Which character, characteristic of Mary do I want to imitate? Which challenge presented by Luke do I want to accept today?